Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, it's your boy T. Wright. Um, I was thinking if I was going to do this earlier. So, September is uh, National Suicide Month, and where you recognize individuals who uh, have committed suicide. Mental mental illness is, uh, is a strong um, situation in today's uh, America. Um, it doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter how much stature or notoriety notoriety you may have um, the biggest thing to come out of it is literally you have to still live for the man above the reason why I say this was a hard video for me to do because I truly have suffered from that same disease and I have actually attempted before um, a friend of mine uh will remain nameless but had always let me know you know how special you know people are to them and how situations can be so today's social media devotional um, comes like this always live in your purpose is what I've been you know talking about for the last uh, two weeks now but understand the purpose See, when I was going through my circumstances, I didn't understand my purpose. I felt like such a failure, such uh, wasn't good enough, uh, not uh, not a good person, uh, you know, all, a whole bunch of negativity. And a lot of times, you know, uh, so, uh, you know, your family can put that into you. And a lot of times, people put that in you because they're not able to do it themselves. They're not they're not strong enough to do it themselves. So since they're not strong enough to do it themselves, they don't. And when they don't, it allows other people to tell them that they're not good enough to do it either. And we get that in our psyche. We get that in our spirit. We get that in our situation. And we start to think of that in the same regard. But God told me something when I was in that position in that spirit and the one thing he told me was you can't think like that all the time you can't be that type of person you can't allow that to happen because I got to be real with you when I didn't succeed in trying to take one's life what happened is I wanted to try again and when I wanted to try again I kind of didn't care whether it worked or not just to be real with y'all but over time, when I think about it now, um, it was selfish of me wanting to rethink about doing it again and actually possibly try to do it again. Because no matter if it's your time, God will allow it to be that time. You know, but the devil wants to take out certain things. He wants to destroy people. He wants to destroy marriages. And he wants to destroy marriages that are strong in his image. They want. He wants to manifest and take you away from Christ like so you don't think about Christ in the same way that you used to. That you don't talk about Christ in the same way that you used to. That you don't live in a purpose for Christ like you used to. And it happens to everybody. Man, I can't believe it. It happens to everybody. You know, my my daughter asked me last week, like, why does the devil mess with everybody? And including young people. And I was, I told her then, I said, because he doesn't care. He really attacks your spirit, then your heart, then your mind. He gets all three and you're, he got you. And I'm not afraid to say it. He, he pushed and tried to have me too. So um, with that note, man, always live in your purpose. Create it. If you don't, un if you don't understand what your purpose is, it's okay. But read towards it. Seek out his face first. Get into your own place of where you feel he is. That's what's going to make you a better person. Not a better businessman or a better husband. Just a better human being in general. Once you get to that position in your life, everything else, grand, is good. Um, it's your boy T. Wright. I love y'all so much. And uh, once again, go understand your purpose. Because you do have one. And if nobody else tells you they love you for today from the bottom of the heart that you can't see right now, but I hope you can feel, I love you.